I'll bet you never saw this done before on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. I'm Kathy and that's Rich and we're building an off-grid earth sheltered house here in the Adirondack Park. If you saw our last video, you know we got our well moved from the old pump house into the main house. And this week our focus is heat, hot water, and propane. All right, so today we're going to cut some of that cement board for the little alcove for the fireplace area for the wood stove area, I should say. We've got a Diablo masonry blade. Ah, sorry, I was just dusting off the camera. Those respirators was money well spent for sure. Uh, whenever you cut that cement board stuff, I recommend you do it outside, and I recommend you definitely wear a respirator and all the protective gear because, man, that was a lot of dust. I'm glad that's over with. And, uh, yeah, there's a link in the description below for those respirators. Uh, if you decide to buy one through our affiliate link on Amazon, uh, it helps the channel just a little bit. We get a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra, so uh, appreciate it if you do. Need to wear a mask. Oh. One thing I noticed that I didn't know, but you know, I never did this before. I'm learning. If you could see in that corner up there, I guess you can't go too close to the edge with the screws. And that makes total sense, but I guess I wasn't thinking. Learning as I go. Oh, bummer. It's raining. Oh, well, Richie's about halfway there now. Hi. All right, I'm checking the tubes. They seemed to harden okay, but they still felt a little soft before. All right, I guess they'll be okay. Richie moved the bricks for me, and we didn't get the leak stopped yet, so we still have a pretty big problem. All right, there's my bricks. I gotta start picking through them all. Oh yeah, tomorrow, the boiler. We have to get this wall done. You're lefty, I'm a righty. It was kind of opposite for me. Amphibious. Amphibious. All right, that is the outlet for our boiler. That's that stuff we got for free, right? Yeah. I think I just got enough insulation here so I could get a piece of plywood on the wall so we could get our boiler hooked up or mounted I should say. This R30 is a little bit much but we had a big gap behind the 2x3 and the uh, concrete so it fit pretty good. In a couple of areas I just had to peel it away because it was you know too close and it's all uneven. I use that part that I peeled away in this corner, covered it with plastic. If our house was covered with dirt, I wouldn't be doing this at all. But we're doing the best we can to uh, protect our investment here. We're going to have a lot of machinery in here, the pipes, the batteries. We don't want anything to freeze. So we're doing the best we can. Dinner. I'll finish that later. 
All right, I'm gonna use this to cut that. Oh, three down, five to go. Doesn't really like the wet um, cardboard, but mm, doing the best I can, getting it done. So yesterday the plumber got our boiler hooked up and he got the stub out for the propane, which is out here. And Richie is finishing the trench. Tonight we're getting a load of sand delivered. That'll go in the bottom of the trench for the pipe. We've got the generator out and we're getting ready to hook that up. But we are making a change. I'm just cleaned up in here because I am going to paint this utility room wall where the laundry room is, the laundry side, with dry lock. We're no longer going to quickcrete it because we are now going to insulate it because the house is not going to be covered with dirt. It really doesn't have much R value for the winter. And we showed you that we insulated this wall over here. We're gonna finish insulating there. We're gonna insulate over here. We're basically going to try to protect all of the utilities in here from getting too cold. Even our lithium iron phosphate batteries for the solar system can't get cold when they go in here. We definitely don't want any of our pipes to freeze. And that just means we now have a change in plans. So we are literally going to frame out this entire wall, we'll insulate it, and we'll really try to keep this room toasty warm. We may even insulate in the ceiling. We're going to do the same thing in our bedroom We'll probably insulate the ceiling and do as what we can to insulate uh, the walls in the bedroom so that we can stay warm at night when we sleep. We're going to try to do something here behind the wood stove with some kind of a an opening or a grate to allow the heat from the wood stove we're gonna blow it through into the bedroom at night and try to keep toasty. We're gonna to probably drop down some heavy blankets from the floor up there and fill behind the bed with a lot of that one inch foam that came with the house and uh, just try to stay as warm as we can for the winter. We still did not fix that leak yet. We want to get up there, but it's been raining every day. So later this week, I think the rain is supposed to stop and we might have a good five days without it. That's our opportunity. And we're probably going to get some hydraulic cement, get up there, get that plugged up, fix it up, get the door installed. That hopefully comes this week and get dried in. problem we have with everything. I can't paint this wall because I have to do something about the foam blocks now. If we were using the quick wall that would be fine, but now we're not. I have to dig those out. I have to fill them with rapid set mortar and then I have to paint the whole wall with dry lock. And I can't mix the rapid set mortar right now because our water is disconnected because the propane is going in tomorrow. So that will have to wait. All right, I'm gonna help Richie. Looks really good, Rich. Looks fantastic. It just came to our attention that we may have dug the trench completely wrong. It's just more proof that we don't know what we're doing. They told us to put it in the center of the tank we interpreted that as underneath the center of the tank. And now we come to find out it may mean on the side, in the front or the back of the center of the tank. We don't know. We can't even call anybody to double check. We have a load of sand on the way to put in the bottom of the trench. 
it's been pouring, pouring rain. The ground is super soft and our trench, well, you can see it, it's filled with water. The rain is just unbelievable. We wouldn't have been able to be covering the house right now anyway. I think he's trying to get the wood off. You are. All right, so Steven dropped off the clean sand and he gave us some advice. Because this trench just filled with water, we cannot put the sand in there. So we're gonna have to wait for that until tomorrow. We can put sand in the rest of the trench and we did trench it to the wrong location. But I guess again, everything for a reason because some of the dirt over here is so super, super soft. We're gonna put the propane tank behind the trench. So Rich is just gonna bring some more um, stone over. And we're just gonna fill this area and put the tank here so that this is in front of the center of the tank. So this is what they sent us. No, there has to be more on the truck. <laughs> That's what I said. He said, there no, has sir. To be more. That's all they gave us. This is what do you gave. have paperwork yes, for I us? Do. Okay, let me see what it says, right. please. Hardware. Sills, jam, jam, jam. One, two, three, four panels are not here. They're checked off. And they are not here. I think they're on there. They're just buried up front or something. So this looks good here. Is this what we're gonna do? I hear a big truck. I think our propane is here. Okay, we're going to dig a trench from there over to the generator over here. So the propane tank did not end up where we wanted it. We expected it to be back about here and then go back that way into the woods and that this pipe 
would go down over there. And we were scrambling to get the generator ready and the battery ready and... I turned my head and they had it in place. And it was done. But the generator's connected. That did work out at the last minute. I had to run to town and get a battery. They didn't have the battery we wanted, which would have been an AGM. But we got the standard one for now. And we'll make the most of that. Now we're going to try to get this closed up so that we can get water again. Because everything is shut off right now. So what Kathy and I have decided to do with this trench is we definitely backfilled it all in sand. Nice clean sands to protect the gas line from all the rocks and stuff that we have here. We're just going to use some of the leftover foam that we pulled down from the interior of the shell and we're going to just layer it right on top of the, the soil here. That way it just adds another layer of protection for all these rocks that are just going to be dumped over here. And because we're going to drive over and it, we're going right? To be driving it's our driveway, trucks. basically. There will still be some cement trucks and things coming through here. Add that protection. Get rid of some foam in the process, which is also a win-win. Little, little pieces of scrap. And then uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and backfill it. And then right before the surface, we'll add some of that red caution tape. So we have no doubt where that line is. I bet you never saw this done before on YouTube. <laughs> neighbors came by to help today. Ken's operating the tractor to help fill in the propane trench. Sue's helping him. Richie's getting the paint sprayer set up with me. It's a good day. It's a beautiful day. We're going to try to get a lot done. Neighbors helping neighbors. I don't know what we would do without them. They're amazing and I feel like we're going to owe them for life. The trench for the tank has been backfilled. We're not filling in the trench to the generator yet because we still have to run an electrical line. And there's just a little more to fill in over here. I'm not sure why they didn't do it. But you can see the red caution tape. So not only do we know where it is, but we also put red caution tape in that you can hit when you start digging and then you'll hit foam before you even get close to the gas line. Safety first. Looks good, but at least we kind of have our driveway back now. We're getting our first propane delivery. Yay! 